Hi, in this video, we're going to offer you some practical advice on how to replace your vehicle's engine oil and filter. The location of filters and fitments differ between vehicle manufacturers. If you're unsure, you should consult your owner's manual or seek the opinion of an expert. You will need a replacement oil filter, oil drainer, disposable gloves, funnel, replacement sump plug or washer, extension bars, spanner, ratchet, oil, rag, oil filter wrenches, axle stands, trolley jack. Before you start, you should warm up your engine to help the oil drain faster. Raise the vehicle and support it on axle stands. Remember, never get underneath a vehicle that is not supported. A jack alone is not a support device. Take into consideration some components will be hot to touch when you're working underneath the vehicle. Make sure you locate the correct drain plug. The sump plug will be located on the bottom of the engine. Loosen the plug with the appropriate tool. Before you remove the plug, fully position your arm so that it is level with the plug to ensure you do not cover your arm with hot engine oil once it starts to escape. Be ready to reposition the drain pan as the flow of oil eventually slows down to a trickle. Do not replace the sump plug yet. Let it drain for at least 15 minutes. Before you replace the sump plug, discard the old ceiling washer and fit a new one. On some vehicles, you will need to fit a new sump plug. Screw the sump plug back into the sump. Some engine sumps are made of aluminium, so be extra careful not to over tighten the sump plug. Error on the side of caution. It is better to tighten a sump plug up than replace a stripped thread as a result of over tightening. Use paper towels and if necessary, engine degreaser to remove any oil that may have spilled. Remove the drainer from under the vehicle. If your vehicle's engine is fitted with a canister type oil filter, you will need to use an oil filter wrench to remove it. Access might be awkward. The filter will contain oil, so position a container to catch it. When you have removed the canister filter, check to make sure the ceiling ring is on top of the filter. If not, retrieve it from the housing. Otherwise, when the new filter is fitted, it will not seal and cause a serious oil leak. Take the new canister filter and smear some fresh engine oil on the new seal. Oil filters only need to be hand tight. Screw the canister on until it mates with the housing, then turn it half a turn. Use paper towels and if necessary, engine degreaser to remove any oil that may have spilled. Lower the vehicle back onto the ground. Refit any components that you may have removed.
Pull the dipstick out and wipe off any old oil. Insert the dipstick and remove it. Check that there is no oil present on the stick. Remove the oil filler cap and use a funnel to reduce the chances of spilling fresh oil onto the engine. Slowly pour the required amount of fresh oil into the engine. It can take a while for the new oil to flow into the engine. Once complete, wait a minute for all of the oil to reach the bottom of the sump. Now pull the dipstick out and check the level. It should be near the maximum indicator on the dipstick. Check for any leaks. Start the engine. It will take a little longer for the oil pressure light to go out. Once this has gone out, turn the engine off. Check for oil leaks from the sump plug and oil filter. Leave it a minute or two for the oil to run back into the sump. Pull the dipstick out and wipe it with a fresh towel. Reinsert the dipstick, then pull it out again. The level may have dropped. If so, Top up the engine oil until the correct amount is indicated on the dipstick. You should dispose of the old engine oil and filter at your local recycling centre. Never pour engine oil down the drain. So there we have it. That's how you replace your vehicle's engine oil and filter. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please check out our other videos.